हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ बंसोड़े सपना फ्रॉम राव बहादुर नारायण राव बोरा के कॉलेज श्रीरामपुर फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द पोएम ऑफ आवर ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड्स सिलेबस द इंच केप रॉक एट फर्स्ट सी द इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द पोएट द पोएट इज रॉबर्ट सऊदी Uh, he was born in 1774 and died in 1843 he was born in bristol in england and uh, he educated at westminster school and balliol college oxford he was a poet laureate of england from 1813 to 1843 poet laureate it means uh, the poet officially appointed by a government uh, typically expected to compose poem for special events and occasions uh, some of his poems some of his short poems uh, which are famous with school children are the scholar the battle of blenheim bishop hatto the inchcape rock etc uh this poem is a ballad and it was published in 1802 uh ballad ballad means a poem or a song narrating a story in short stanzas and uh, this poem the poet robert saudi was inspired by a story and uh, this story of the 14th century attempt uh, by abbot of aberbrothok Uh, to install a warning bell on the inchcape rock and this bell was cut down by a sea pirate the name of this pirate was sir ralph rover and uh, what is the inchcape rock the inchcape rock actually is a reef a sandstone reef about 11 miles means 18 km of the east coast of angus scotland and this story was happen on this rock the inchcape rock this poem consists 17 quatrains written in rhyming couplets now we are going to read uh, the poem see the first stanza no stir in the air no stir in the sea the ship was as still as she could be her sails from heaven received no motion her keel was steady in the ocean see uh, in the first stanza the poet use a repetition in the first line and this repetition emphasizes the quiet and stillness of the ship see no stir in the air stir means slight movement there were no slight movement in the air in the sea as well as the ship was also stand still there were no motion uh, we see in the ship her sails from heaven received no motion her sails from heaven received no motion means there uh, there was no motion in the air that's why this ship was stand still and her sails from heaven received no motion it means that these are firm there were no motion her keel was steady in the ocean keel keel means the base of the ship uh, the base of the ship also had no motion it was steady it is fixed in its position now see the second stanza without either sign or sound of their shock 
द वेव्स फ्लोड ओवर द इंचकेप रॉक सो लिटिल दे रोज सो लिटिल दे फेल दे डिड नॉट मूव द इंचकेप बेल इन दिस सेकेंड स्टांजा द पोएट डिस्क्राइब्स द माइल्ड सी वेव्स दीज वेव्स वेअर rising and falling so little they rose so little they fell means these waves are uh, so little falling and rising they these waves fall flowing over the inch cape rock these waves very slowly very little flowed over the inch cape rock and they were so little that they could not make any sign or sound they were so little that they did not move the inch cape bell also these waves were not able to ring the inch cape bell also the current of the waves were very slow that's why these waves did not move the inch cape bell these bell rose very slow and fall very slow they could not make any sign or sound now see the third stanza the abbot of aberbrothok uh, the one character of the story is introduced here the abbot of aberbrothok had placed that bell on the inchcape rock on a boy in the storm it floated and swung and over the waves its warning rang see the abbot of aberbrothok abbot means uh, the head of abbey of monks abbey abbey means a building uh, which used to live by nuns or monk this abbot uh, he he was a good person the abbot of abbot brothok had placed that bell on the inchcape rock this uh, on the inchcape rock the abbot of abbot brothok had placed that warning bell on a boy in the storm it floated and swung on a boy on a boy boy means floating object uh, anchored in the sea to mark dangerous places on a boy this bell was placed by abbot of aberbrothok and in the storm it gives warning to the seafarers it gives warning to the mariners about the danger and over the waves its warning rang and when the waves are strong when the wind was strong or when the wind will be strong that bell gives warning to the sailors to the mariners next stanza when the rock was hit by the surge swell the mariners heard the warning bell and then they knew the perilous rock and blessed the abbot of aber brathak here a poet tells us how uh, the bell guided the mariners in the bad weather when the rock was hit by the surge swell rock the inch, inch cape rock uh, this was hit by the surge swell surge swell means uh, sudden and great rise in the level of the sea hmm. when uh, the sea level was high when the uh, rise in the level of the sea at that time this rock was hit under the waves under the water and when these waves so uh, uh, when the rock was hidden under water at that time the mariners heard the warning bell though they could not see the rock which was under the water due to strong storm at that time these mariners could hear the warning bell and they came to know that there was the inch cape rock 
and then they knew the perilous rock and they came to know about the inch cape rock and they came to know about that uh, this is dangerous rock and this was hidden under the water and due to warning bell they save their lives they go away from that rock and that's why they blessed the abbot of aberbrothok and when they saved their lives from that perilous rock they blessed blessed means blessed they blessed the abbot of aberbrothok and why they blessed the abbot of aberbrothok because abbot of aberbrothok installed or he <coughs> placed that warning bell on the inch cape rock see the next stanza the sun in heaven was a shining gay all things were joyful on that day the sea birds screamed as they wheeled round and there was joyance in their sound this a fifth stanza tells us about the atmosphere and uh, how was the atmosphere at that time the atmosphere was bright joyful the sun in heaven was shining gay gay means bright uh, on that day that is particular day on that day means on that particular day uh, the atmosphere was very joyful the sun in the sky was shining brightly all things were joyful the atmosphere is cheerful the atmosphere is joyful the atmosphere is <coughs> happy the sea birds screamed as they wheeled round the sea birds were also happy they they were screaming when they are playing they are wheeled round wheeled round means whirling over the sea uh, these flock of birds flying round in circles which looks like a wheel that's why wheeled round the sea birds screamed as they wheeled round it means that they were screaming in their happy mood in their festive mood and they there was joyance in their sound and they are happy sorry they were happy in their playing they were happy on that day there was symbol of happiness in their sound they screaming in joy the next stanza the boy of the inch cape bell was seen a darker speck on the ocean green sir ralph the rover walked his deck and he fixed his eye on the darker speck the boy of the inch cape bell was seen a darker speck on the ocean green the boy on which the warning bell was placed by aberbrath uh, sorry abbot of aberbrath was seen and it was seen as a darker speck speck means a tiny dot it is a blackish tiny dot but it was seen on the ocean green it was seen clearly it is visible clearly one can saw it from away also uh, the boy of the inch cape bell was seen that boy was uh, seen and this darker speck this spot was seen by sir ralph the rover sir ralph the rover walked his deck and he fixed his eye on the darker speck here sir ralph the rover was introduced for the first time when he was walking on his deck 
at that time he fixed his eye on the darker speck he fixed his eye it means that he looked at it for long time he noticed that darker speck that darker speck here darker speck this word is used for warning bell this warning bell which was a dot on the green ocean was seen by sir ralph the rover on the sixth stanza the boy of the inchcape bell was seen a darker speck on the ocean green sir ralph the rover walked his deck and he fixed his eye on the darker speck the boy of the inchcape bell was seen the boy on which sir uh, the boy on which abbot of abervratha fixed the warning bell was clearly seen it is it was seen as a darker speck darker speck speck means a tiny dot it was seen as a tiny very little dot on this on the green ocean sir ralph the rover walked his deck sir ralph the rover uh, ralph the rover he was a sea pirate and for the first time he was introduced in this stanza sir ralph the rover walked his deck when sir ralph the rover was walking on the deck of his ship he fixed his eye on the darker speck he looked at the darker speck for long time it means that he noticed that warning bell which was fixed on boy of inchcape rock he felt the cheering power of spring it made him whistle it made him sing his heart was mirthful to excess but the rover's mirth was wickedness you see he means here the rover the ralph the rover he felt the cheering power of spring it means that he was enjoying the good atmosphere he was enjoying the spring atmosphere it made him whistle it made him sing this cheerful atmosphere made him whistle he was singing because of his joy his heart was mirthful to excess mirthful mirthful means happy he was very happy his heart was overjoyed mirthful to excess mirthful to excess means overjoyed he was overjoyed that day but but the but the rover's mirth was wickedness but there was the wickedness in his mind there was wickedness in his happiness there were sinful thought in his mind behind his happiness see the next stanza his eye was on the inchcape float could he my men put out the boat and row me to the inchcape rock and i will play the abbot of aberbrathok see what is the wickedness in his mind his eye was on the inchcape float he was looking continuously to the inchcape float he was looking at the warning bell quoth he quoth means said he said to his men to his crew my men put out the boat and row me to the inchcape rock he ordered his men he ordered his crew to put him or to take him to the inchcape rock and i will play 
Kirk, the abbot of Aberbrothok, and what was his plan? His plan was to destroy. Plague means to destroy. He wanted to destroy the good work of abbot of Aberbrothok. And what was the good work of abbot of Aberbrothok? He was placed warning bell on the Inchcape Rock for. as the warning to the sailors about the danger about the perilous rock and he wanted to destroy this warning bell he wanted to destroy the good work of abbot aberbrothok it means that here in the mind of ralph he had jealousy he had jealousy about abbot of aberbrothok and because of this jealousy he wanted to destroy the good work he wanted to destroy the warning bell which was placed on inchcape rock see the next stanza the boat is lowered the boatmen row and to the inchcape rock they go sir ralph bent over from the boat and he cut the bell from the inchcape float and that sinful act was done by sir ralph the rover and what is his sinful work he asked his men to take him to the inchcape rock now these crew and he went to the inchcape rock and here sir ralph bent over from the boat he bent over to the boy and he cut the bell from the inchcape float and he cut down the warning bell from the boy this sinful act was done by sir ralph rover in his happy in his festive mood he done the wrong thing he done the sinful work 